Hello friends, as we have already studied about the integration of learning theories in technology, here are few more examples for better understanding. In behaviorism, learner is in the blank state and learning is a response to the external stimuli. Behaviorism concentrates on the study of overt behaviors that can be observed and measured. Technology integration in behaviorism is used to keep track on learners' efforts, attitude and ultimately behavior modification. Let us explain with the help of an example of discrimination one of the elements of behaviorism. After teaching the concept of parts of plant, a drag and drop activity was given to learners by showing an image of tree. Learners now have to drag and drop the right part of the plant in right box. If strongly selected, it won't be dragged. Thus, right behavior is promoted by reinforcement by putting right part in the right place. Similarly, the concept of association can be taught with the help of an activity where a picture of house is shown and learners have to identify the shapes of quadrilateral and associate them by showing a small video clip of a house with integration of different shapes through different objects. Heck and I are playing I Spy with shapes. Oh, I love shape games. I spy a quadrilateral. Hmm? Huh? What's that? A quadrilateral is a shape with four sides and four angles. Wowee! Okay. Hmm. I can find a quadrilateral. There's a quadrilateral. Oh, there's a quadrilateral. And another quadrilateral. <laughs> You found so many! Different activities can be done with different elements of behaviorism with different examples. So it is clear that the concept of behaviorism is very well executed with the help of technology. Now, cognitivism is a process where we retrieve the stored information as and when required. Cognitive tools allow lower level thinking skills to be managed in order for higher order thinking skills to be simulated. The relationship of technology integration and cognitivism involves the use of technology that helps the learners to gain mental and cognitive knowledge as a way of improving their studies. For example, crossword puzzle. As you are showing here, in this screen, a crossword is a word puzzle that usually takes the form of a square or a rectangular grid. The game's goal is to fill the white squares with letters, forming words or phrases by solving clues which lead to the answer. Similarly, like this crossword puzzle, there are other word games like word search puzzle, memory game, and many more, by which you can gain more knowledge. Like the word association games, concept mapping can be done for presenting the information in a meaningful organized way. Let me show you a small clip in the form of a short story. Hi, what is your name? Hello, my name is Abby. And what is your name? My name is Ishida. What are you doing, Abby? I am watering the plants. Well, you are doing great thing. Thank you. Do you know? Trees are very important for us. They give us oxygen and take carbon dioxide in. Yes, this was thought in environmental sciences, right? Yes, trees are very helpful to us. Yes, we must save nature. Yeah, and we must stop wasting paper. Many trees are cutting down these days to make paper. People are so selfish. They cut down trees for their home needs. We must save trees. I have decided that, every year in my summer holiday, I am going to plant minimum five saplings. Yes, why not? We will suggest our classmates also, to do this. That's a great idea, let's go. So by this, we can organize the information in depth by finding out the relationships among ideas and beliefs 
between the learner and the information. Like this, many other softwares can be used for managing higher order thinking skills. Regarding constructivism, constructivism is a learning theory based on the premise that we construct learning of new ideas based on our prior knowledge and experience. The learning occurs in this theory through interaction. The information is received through the guidance of a peer or instructor and the social interactions contribute to the construction of knowledge. Memory is always under construction as a continuous process of information which is cumulative history of interactions and representative experience. In technology integration, here the learner engagement is fostered by active participation of the use of technology in a constructivist perspective. Technology helps constructivist approaches by empowering learners and teachers to create and apply modern technologies that lead to consider memory, information processing and other aspects of learning in the mind. For example, Padlet. Padlet is a web-based collaborative tool that organizes a virtual wall that allows both teachers and students to express their thoughts. In the virtual wall of Padlet, we can share images, videos, documents, slides, texts, links of e-content. Padlet increases the cooperation and collaboration among learners as we can access the virtual wall anywhere, anytime and share the virtual wall by generating link, embed code, PDF, image or using other online tools. As you have shown here in this particular Padlet, learners have shared their self-prepared videos on a particular topic of vocational education and experiential learning. They have discussed their views with each other in this particular wall of Padlet. The established learning theories of behaviorism, cognitivism and constructivism each contribute in unique ways to the design of online materials through their ideas of how learning takes place. In connectivism, it is the collective connections between all the nodes in a network that result in new forms of knowledge. According to Simons, knowledge is created beyond the level of individual human participants and is constantly shifting and changing. The factor that influences learning in connectivism is the diversity of network, strength of ties and context of occurrence. Today, our networks are Explicit in tools like Facebook, Twitter, Google Drive and LinkedIn. These services provide users the ability to analyze how they are connected to others and share the information. Connectivism is core skill. Detecting connection between idea and is a learning theory for the digital age. Technology integration is the effective implementation of educational technology to accomplish intended technology outcomes. For example, with the aid of multimedia, a learner can experience a computer-based environment on Mars while still being supported by their larger classroom settings. Even the propagation has changed the educational landscape by developing MOOCs, massive open online courses that helped in the creation of new opportunities for learning. The another initiative is the creation of virtual labs. Virtual lab is an initiative of Ministry of Education under the National Mission on Education through ICT. In this website, many virtual labs have been established. Let me take an example of a virtual lab under the broad area of chemical sciences. Here, I am taking a topic of acid-based titration. As you saw here, all the material related to the topic is given. And you can do a virtual practical of acid-based titration by doing virtual experiment also. 
सो बाय दिस वे यू कैन टेक ए प्रैक्टिकल एक्सपीरियंस वर्चुअली लाइक दिस मैनी अदर सॉफ्टवेयर आर अवेलेबल यू जस्ट नीड टू एक्सप्लोर रिलेटेड टू यूर टॉपिक सो इन द नट शेल द proper integration of technology with a clear view of theories of learning in mind can guide the educators in infusing technology into the classrooms in all levels of educational system